All right, guys, so we can now add articles. We can view the listing listings and then we can click on a single article. So what I want to do now is add an edit button to this page, the single article page. So let's go to views and then article dot pug and we're going to go under the body and let's put an HR and then we'll put right under it an a tag. Let's give it a class of BTN and BTN. We'll say default and then it's going to need an href and the href is going to go to slash articles or article slash edit slash and then the ID which we need to just concatenate on like that article dot underscore ID. So let's take a look at that. Oh, we need the text. Okay, so now we have an edit and you can see it goes to article edit and then the ID. So we need a route for that. Let's go back to our app.js file. Okay, and then this is going to be similar to the single article because we need to get the ID. We need to find the that specific article and then we need to load the edit form. So I'm going to just copy this whole thing here and let's paste it in. Uh, we'll go under the add. Okay, so this will be load edit form. So slash article slash edit slash ID. Then we're going to find it by its ID. Then we're going to render a template called edit underscore article. All right, we're going to pass along the article. So let's save that. And then what we'll do is copy what we have in add article because it's it's the same form. We'll, we'll copy that and then we'll create another view and we'll call this edit underscore article dot pug. And then we'll paste that in. Okay. Um, let's see, it has a title, so let's pass in a title. And we'll just say edit. You don't have to do this, the dynamic title thing. But I don't know why not. OK, then we have our form. Now, this form is going to go to a different place. It's going to go uh, to articles slash edit slash and then the ID. OK, so we can get that with article dot ID or underscore ID. Sorry. And then we need to put the values in these inputs. So let's add right here value equals and I'm not exactly sure the syntax I think I think we might be able to just do article dot title like that let's try it out so if we reload this we click edit there we go yep that works article one so we want to do the same thing for author Okay, and then for the text area, we actually want to put that here. So article dot body. All right, if we reload, now we have the data. Oh, that's not right. Um, let's see, I think. Will that work? Yep. Let's actually put a space right above the, the button there. I don't like that. Same thing with the ad. All right. So now we have the form, the edit form with the data inside of it. Now we need to catch the submission, which is going to go to articles, edit, and then the ID. It's going to be a post request. So let's go to app.js and this is going to be similar to the ad. So let's grab this. Paste that in and let's say update submit. So post and it's going to go article slash edit slash colon ID. OK. Now, this is going to work a little differently. We're not creating a new article. What we're going to do is set this to an empty object. So we'll say let article equals an empty object. 
and then we're going to add to it like this. We can leave it. We're going to get the fields from the form, add to that object. And then we're going to create a query because we need to specify which one we want to update. And we're going to say where underscore ID matches request dot params dot ID, okay, which is going to be this coming in from the URL. And then instead of using the actual article variable up here, we're going to use the model. Okay, so that's capital A article, and then it's going to be update, not save. Okay, and then we need to pass in first the query and then the data, which is in an object in this article variable that we added all the stuff here. And then the rest will be the same. We're just going to redirect. So let's save that. And then we're going to go to this thing here, this DD, and let's edit that. We'll say article five. and submit and there we go so you can see it's changed to article 5 so we can now update articles so now we want to be able to delete them now delete is going to work differently because we want to make a delete request and we can't do that with a, a simple link we can't do that with by submitting a form we can only do get and post uh, so what we have to do is use ajax and there's a lot of different options uh, what i'm going to do is just use jquery Uh, and then just make a simple delete request with Ajax to the delete route. All right. So we need to create the button first. So let's go to our article dot pug and let's put a link here and this is going to have a class. Let's say BTN and then BTN danger. All right. And then the href is just going to go nowhere. It's going to go to a number sign because what we're going to do is add uh, we're going to add a class in addition to these button classes called delete. We'll say delete dash art or article. All right. And then we're going to use that. We're going to grab onto that with jQuery and then we're going to make a delete request. Now, remember, we need to know the ID to make that request. So what we can do is we can attach another attribute called data dash ID, and we're going to set that equal to. Uh, let's see, we're going to set that equal to article dot underscore ID. Whoops. And I'm not sure if I can do it that way. But let's let's save that and take a look. All right, so if we do. an inspection here. Let's just check that. Okay. So that is working. You see data ID equals and then it's the ID. And then we'll be able to grab onto that from within jQuery and we'll be able to make our request. Now, the file that we're going to use is going to be in the public folder. So let's say a new folder in public called JS and we'll create a new file called main.js. So this is basically the client side JavaScript file. All right. Uh, while we're here, let's create a, a CSS folder as well and then a style sheet because we don't have a custom style sheet yet. All right. And then we're going to have to include both of those in our layout file. So let's go to layout pug and let's copy this and paste that in. And then we're going to change this to slash CSS slash style CSS. And then we'll, we want the main JS included down here. Okay, after all this stuff. So this will go to slash JS, which is in the public folder slash main dot JS. All right. And just to test it out, let's go to main JS and just do an alert. Okay, and there we go. We get the alert. So we want to make our Ajax request. So we're going to use jQuery. So let's do document dot ready and then put in function. I do have a jQuery crash course that uh, you can check out if you want to learn more about jQuery. So let's see, we're going to grab on to that delete article class. Okay, and then we're going to do dot on and then click. Okay, when it's clicked on, we're going to run a function. 
and let's pass in e here so that we can say e dot prevent. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. It's not a form. Uh, let's, but we do need to get the target, okay? Because we want to be able to grab onto that data attribute, that data ID. So we can create a variable called target and set that to that event variable dot target. And then we should be able to get the data ID attribute. So let's say console dot log. And in here we can say target dot adder and we want to get the data ID. OK, so let's save that and we're going to reload, click on the console and then delete. And you can see we're getting that ID. All right. If we go to Article three, click delete, we're going to get that ID. So now we can put that in a variable. So we'll say const ID equals set it to that. And then we can make our request. So we're going to say money sign Ajax. And in here we're going to pass in uh, an object. We want to say the type of request that this is going to be is a delete. All right. And then the URL is going to go to slash article slash uh, I whatever the ID is. And remember, we have that in a variable right here. So we're going to just concatenate that on. All right, then what we'll do is uh, right after this URL value, we're going to say success. OK, so if this works, then we'll get a response. And actually, let's do like this. All right, so success. And all we want to do is let's do it. We'll do an alert and we'll say deleting to do not to do what the hell is this article and then we're going to redirect to the home page and we can do that in JavaScript with window dot location dot href Actually, let's do single quotes and we'll go to slash all right and then if there's an error then we want to run this function That will pass us an error message and we'll console log it. All right, so that should do it. Let's save. And now we need to create this route because this is what it's going to be submitting the delete request to. So we're going to go back to app.js. And let's go down here and we're going to do app.delete. OK, because it's a delete request and it's going to go to slash article slash colon ID. Request response, just like any other type of request. Now to delete it, we're going to say actually let's create a query variable. And we're going to set uh, underscore ID to request dot params dot ID, which is coming from the URL. And then we can take the model. So article and we can say dot remove. We can pass in the query and then the function. All right, we'll put an error here and we'll just test for the error. Error. Now, since we made a request from that main JS script, we need to send back a response. So to do that, we're just going to say res dot send. And by default, that's going to send a 200 status, which means everything's OK. So we can put a little message in here. We'll just say success. OK, so let's save it and let's go back over here and go to Article five and click delete. We get our alert. Click OK and it redirects us and you can see Article five is gone. All right, so I hope that wasn't too confusing. I know when I first started learning Express and all this stuff, the delete request really confused me, um, you know, making the, the Ajax request. I, did, I couldn't see why we couldn't just create a link that would um, send a, uh, a get request and then delete it that way. But that's very, very insecure. So that's going to be it, guys, for this video. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what we'll do next. 
Uh, I do want to eventually deploy this application. I might also add some authentication to it, but um, we have a full CRUD functionality application, and that's it. I will see you in the next video.